Okay, welcome back to another video. It's me, Trippus. How are you guys doing? And today I'm going to be showcasing my render settings and showing you how to get motion blur in your Minecraft videos and make it look hella smooth like the ones on screen right now. Okay, so all you need for this is the newest version of OBS Studio and also Vegas Pro uh, 14 to 17, any of them will work. But yeah, when you open OBS, you always want to do it from here and then click run as admin and then click yes when the pop-up comes up. Okay, so now that you have OBS open, you want to go to view, docs, and then enable stats. It's just that thing over there. So you just want to enable that. Uh, it pretty much shows if it's like lagging, if it goes yellow or red. And yeah, this is handy, and if you have any questions, then make sure to join my Discord down below, and I'll answer and try and help you guys out. But yeah, first all you want to do is add uh, either game capture or display capture. For some people, display capture doesn't work, but it usually does give FPS. So if you can use display capture, then I would recommend it. But if not, then use game capture. I'm going to click OK, and click capture specific window, and then choose your Minecraft. It should be here. Alright, so now let's get into the settings. So first you just want to go over here, click settings, then go output, make this advanced, and then click recording. So then uh, make your type standard and change your recording path to wherever you want your videos to go. Change your recording format to MP4 and use the NVIDIA NVENC H2.6 for whatever. And make sure you use the new version. If you don't have this, but you have the older version of NVIDIA, then I would recommend updating your drivers by going here uh, and then click on NVIDIA GeForce Experience. Because the new version is really good for FPS and it barely affects your gameplay. Yeah, then you want to go to rate control and change this to CQP. And the CQ level, uh, you can go from 30 to 0. I usually use like 15, 16. Pretty much the higher the number is, the less quality it has. So. I recommend using like 16 because this is like the most you really need. But yeah, change your keyframe interval to zero, max performance, high. Uh, turn both of these off because it really affects your encoding overload and your lag. Make your GPU zero and max B frame zero, then click apply. So now go to video and make this 1920 by 1080 and 1920 by 1080 unless you want to do like 1280 renders or 2K renders or whatever. Depends on what your monitor is, I would recommend using that. Now you want to make downscale filter by linear, fastest but blurry of scaling, and change this to fractional FPS value. Always keep the denominator on 1 because, yeah. And the numerator is really depending on how much FPS you get in game while recording. I usually use like 480, 540, but I would recommend using anything over 120. And also keep in mind that these renders are not for like computers that can't handle that much Th these are for like beefy computers as they are really high quality so then click apply then go advanced make your process by priority below normal uh change this to direct 3d 11 nv12 709 and partial and then just click apply and you should be good to go and before you open up minecraft if you only have one monitor then i would recommend always minimizing it because this uh Get rid of screen tearing in game, which is pretty much like lag. And it also makes your renders look bad, so yeah. But if you have two monitors, then just move this to the second monitor, and yeah, you should be good to go. Okay, so now that we're on Vegas, firstly, you want to go to project settings and make this 1920 by 1080 or whatever your video is recorded at. Non progressive scan, one, zero degrees uh this will change later on okay so now this is for 30 fps renders you want to go 8-bit good gaussian blend fields smart resample and uh, adjust source media to m better match project or render settings then you want to click apply but if you want to render in 60 then i would recommend changing this to best Ga uh keep that at gaussian blend fields and i usually change this to force resample then you just want to click apply but after you've done that, you just want to drag a random clip in. So I have this. I don't know what this is, but 
then you want it should come up with an option saying match project video render settings you want to click yes okay so now that you have your clip in you want to go file render as and then you want to go to windows media video v11 click a random one that you have and then click customize template so now i'll show you my 30 fps renders pretty much this is what i have then video i have these you can pause the video at any time if you want now i go to bitrate 100 mil and then project best so if you want to save this just type it whatever you want and then click this button to save the template and now i have my 60 fps renders here we go So then you just want to click browse and save it to wherever you want and then just click render and it should start. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you want any help, then join my discord down below and I will help you guys out. But peace and make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for 750 subs.